morning everyone this is a Will Santana Films review and today we're gonna get you guys with the Blu-ray 3D reviews my top 10 from my Blu-ray collection I have about 200 Blu-ray 3D so you know I got a lot of them I have about 20 I ain't hit yet but the ones I've hit here we go my top 10 at number 10 we got Wreck-It Ralph Disney's Wreck-It Ralph is a pretty fun film I love the movie itself the, the 3D is cool with the arcade when Wreck-It Ralph is inside the arcade and you can see the depth of the field with the people who are actually playing the video game. It's fun. Uh, the pop-outs are pretty cool and everything. It's not one of my all-time favorite 3D movies, but it definitely makes my top 10. The movie does help. At number 9, oh, this one's been very frustrating. Number 9 was one I saw in the movie theater and it has not been released on Blu-ray 3D. What's going on, Paramount? Come on, release it already. But Jackass 3D, oh yes, I was able to get a bootleg copy of it. I don't condone bootlegs, but this was a movie I just had to have on Blu-ray 3D. And you already know with the Jackass crew, they're coming off the screen crazy. Dildos and everything. I'm not, I'm not a dildo fan, but you already know it's just, ah, they're just coming at you, man. And you gotta see, even though the whole movie's not in 3D, the parts that are in 3D is well worth the watch. And this is not Anaglyph 3D, this is Stereoscopy 3D, so. Hey, you gotta check out Jackass 3D. At number eight, it's been released here in the US, but I highly recommend getting the box set from the UK. It's region free, it'll play on any Blu-ray player, whether region A, region B, region C. Yeah, the, the John Michael Cousteau trilogy, you gotta get it. It's only like 20 something bucks on uh, Amazon UK. I think I paid about $28 and then like maybe $3 to ship it or $4 to ship it, something like that. But this is just amazing. The depth of the ocean, the sharks, the jellyfish, the sea turtles all popping out at you. Oh man, you got to get this. Even if you're not a documentary fan, this is for you big 3D fanboys. This, this is the one. This is the one that you're gonna just amaze your friends when they come over. Oh, I hate 3D, I can't stand it. This is the one you gotta get them with. At number seven, we got another documentary. It's uh, what was his name? Kelly Slater, the surfer. The Ultimate Wave ta Tahiti. Man, he's surfing and everything. The water is splashing on your lenses. You gotta wipe it off. You need like windshield wipers. It's so fun. You know, a lot of pop out. The depth is just it's, it's somewhat slacking, but overall, I love it. It's a great 3D. It's, it's only 45 minutes long. So for you 3D fans, how long is 45 minutes gonna kill you? And it's, I think I paid 15 bucks for it. You know, worth it. Number six, okay, I don't like the movie, definitely don't like it, but the 3D came with it, it definitely came with it, and I'm talking about Yogi Bear. Yes, Yogi Bear with the fruit baskets, and the snack baskets, and leaves, and, and trees, and everything is just popping out, they're in, the, and they're in the woods, so you already know with the woods, the jungle, and everything, it's just going to be an amazing how the depth is there and everything, this, I'm not, not going to say the, the movie's awesome, I'm not going to bullshit you, but overall the 3D, gotta check it out I love the 3d and it's a good one time watching 3d you know what I'm saying but it's also a good one to show off to people at number five we got Resident Evil Resident Evil Afterlife 3d I'm sorry and this one you got swords coming at you uh, blood from the um, from the zombies popping out on you you know and they hitting your lens you know you're gonna want to wipe it off it's so cool it's fun the CG and everything they came with it with the natural 3d on this one Love it, man. This is one of, even one of the first 3D movies I've ever owned when I first bought my 3D set like two, three years ago. So this is one that's still been holding on strong. It, it was at first, at one time, it was number one on my list, but it's slowly getting knocked down. But it's still there, so you got to get it. You got to get Resident Evil. At number four, we got another Disney one, and it's Meet the Robinson. Meet the Robinsons. Man, it's, it's a great film, especially if you come from the deprived community, you've been to the orphan and everything, it's time traveling and all that kind of stuff, the 3D, it was actually filmed in 3D, even though Stereoscopy 3D wasn't available back then, but uh, it was still good, man, it's, still, it's a great movie, great 3D, the movie does kind of sway me on my list, and my list, I didn't want the movie to be part of it, I really wanted to hit you with the 3D effects and everything, but Meet the Robinsons, great 3D film, Death, Pop Out, so it's kind of gimmicky with the with being cartoon, but it's definitely worth the watch. Uh, next up, I hate this movie. I can't stand it. It's, I know I'm gonna get trash for this one. I already see it coming, but it's on my list because of the 3D. I can't knock it. James Cameron, Avatar. I hate it. Dancing with Wolves remake, Fern Gully remake getting different kind of releases after release he just keeps re-releasing it's just part of like he's gonna do like George Lucas does with Star Wars but the 3D is amazing this is one of the best 3D movies out there I, I can't deny the fact you know saying pop out depths everything it's, it's a fun 3D movie the movie 
movie itself, the plot, it's a whole different story. I'm just not a fan of it. I know a lot of people are. I felt he tried to fool you with the CG. He didn't fool me. This is just my opinion, but it's not for me, guys. Avatar is just not a movie I could watch over and over, but it is a demo one that I like to show off to friends of how amazing 3D can be. Number two on my list, Hugo, Martin Scorsese, and the reason why this is number two, because I felt this is like the one movie in 3D where it wasn't used as a gimmick. It was used as a tool. Like, it wasn't, they weren't just randomly throwing confetti and bubbles and all kind of stuff. Like, he really made it work with the depth of the library, the depth of the uh, train station, uh, the pop out of the clocks where Hugo was working. And then the movie is amazing. If you're a film buff and you see what the history that's involved in it, it includes, it's based on the guy who first did special effects on movies. So if you're a huge movie fan, you have to love Hugo. I love it, man. It's, it's, it's every film guy's person, you know, not film guy's person, but you gotta watch it. You know, every film person has to see this movie. You know what I'm saying? Because, oh my God, there's so much history involved in here. And, and the 3D, and it's Scorsese. Come on, when has Scorsese really let us down? He's only had a few bad movies, but overall, I love Scorsese. So this is definitely number two on my list, Hugo 3D. Now, the number one of 3D movies I'm from my home collection. Now, this is the one. This is the one that every time somebody comes over, I have to show them. And then they just get blown away. They all want to get 3D TVs. This is the one. It, the movie has been released in the U.S. It's, it's on Netflix and everything, but the 3D version cannot find here. You have to import it from Amazon UK or uh, YesAsia.com. It's there, man, but you got to get Sammy's Adventures. Part one is definitely the one. One is the one that gets them all the time. Part two is almost as good. It's not as good as part one as far as 3D and everything. Part one, is, the movie is not amazing. It, it, it's watchable, it's entertaining, and it has a great, great musical score and soundtrack to it. So it, it is, makes it, you know, the kids are gonna love it. It's not Finding Nemo, but for 3D, you get everything in this one. The depth, the pop out, the pop out like literally gets right here in your face, man. I mean, like, Jesus, and I was sitting like, good. 10 feet away from the TV, man. I got three 3D TVs, and I ch checked it out on all three, and on two of them, man, it, it was right there in my face. Oh my God, this is the one. This is the bread and butter. You gotta get Sammy's Adventures 1 and 2. This is the one you import them. You'll find them. They're on the internet, you guys. Gotta get it. If you're a big 3D fan, these are the, these are the ones you gotta get. So there's my top 10 for the Blu-ray 3D. I have about 200 movies, probably a little bit more over that on Blu-ray 3D that I own in my collection. Uh, there's about 15 of them I haven't got to yet, you know. And I know some of you are going to be like, are you crazy, Will? Where's the Avengers? Where's the Avengers? Well, I have the Avengers. I love the movie. Can't knock the movie. But 3D, it's a converted 3D. It wasn't shot with a natural 3D lens. It's okay. The 3D, it's, it's, it's all right. But it's a movie I'd rather watch in 2D. This is it's just not for me, you know. I ha Avengers just didn't do it for me. It was just okay in 3D. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man, I haven't got to that one yet. I'm gonna get to it. Uh, the Hobbit 3D, I haven't got to it yet. And Life of Pi. Now, Life of Pi, I did happen to watch in 2D, and I loved it. It was a good movie, but I haven't watched it yet in 3D. I have others like Jurassic Park that I watched. I was disappointed. I heard so much thing about Jurassic Park. Uh, I, I have tons of movies. I'll even flash it for you guys real quick. Here it is. Okay, but as you know, I'm just not that big on certain movies i'm not a fan of converted 3ds i'm more of the natural 3d i'm gonna get to them you know if you feel like you can when i flash those movies if you see there's a movie in there i didn't hit hey please leave a comment i'll get back to you maybe i'll tell you why i didn't like it in 3d maybe I, I i missed something that you guys can entertain me about it on 3d so until then let's stay tuned more 3d coming at you guys